Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to install a water filter under your kitchen sink in the cabinet below it. We have been living in the van for about three years and after about three months we did a video, a van tour video, and we talked about all kinds of things in here. We really talked up this faucet. We also did a van tour last summer after about two and a half years living in the van. And again, we kind of talked up this faucet. Uh, it's a three-way, so it does hot water, cold water, and filtered water. Uh, it has a dual stage, that means two element filter down here under the cabinet. And full disclosure, we're not real too crazy about the filter. The filters are supposed to last six months, but we're lucky if we get three out of them. After about two months, the pressure goes way down. And the other thing is, the water really doesn't taste that great. So we've had a Brita countertop dispenser in here for a long time. We finally got rid of it because it was taking up too much room. So here we are, we're gonna install a new filter. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video. We are super excited to introduce Epic Water Filters. Epic is a company in Boulder, Colorado. They are on a mission to reduce single-use plastic waste, and they make a number of different water filtration products. They make a countertop dispenser here. This is very similar to the Brita one that we got rid of. They make a countertop pitcher. They make a bunch of different water bottles, um, and they have filters on the straw inside them. They also make the under counter unit that we're going to install today. Real quick though, one of our favorites is this guy. They make several versions of their water bottle filters like this. This one, anywhere you find uh, fresh water like a river, a lake, a stream, you can have all the safe drinking water you want. So we're really excited about that. Uh, don't take my word for it though. Check them out for yourself. We're putting a link to them in the description below and use coupon code TSLTD20 and you can get 20% off your first order. But now, let's get to installing this guy. So let's take a look at what's in the box. You have a couple of PEX water hoses. These are 3 8 outside diameter. You have a welcome card with some information about Epic water filters. You have a hardware kit. I'll talk more about this in a second. You have an easy installation guide with instructions and lots of pictures. This is a super easy install. You have the mounting bracket. This attaches to the cabinet wall under your sink. And finally, you have the water filter itself. And this will plug right into your mounting bracket, give it a quick twist, and it's ready to go. Inside the hardware kit, you have a cold water diverter. You attach this to your water supply under the sink, and it will divert water through the hoses, through the filter, and then back up to your faucet. So, let's get to it. The very first thing I'm going to do is turn off the water pump. And I'm going to run the pressure out of the water system just by running it with the pump off. This is because when I start disconnecting things under the sink, I don't want water going everywhere. In addition to that, just to be extra safe, I'm going to turn off my hot water heater as well. Just because I ran some of the water out of there, it's probably okay, but I just want to be absolutely sure that I'm not going to burn up my heating element. So now let's go under the sink. Okay, I've cleared some things out from under the sink. But I want to show you right here is our existing water filters that we are replacing. These both fit into the same mount. What I'm thinking is going to work is just using these hoses that are already going to these filters. And I'm just going to hook them up to the new filter. It's significantly taller than these. It's also wider. It's not going to fit between the sink and the cabinet wall there like these do. I think it's going to have to go back here in that corner back behind our fire extinguisher. So I'm going to start playing around back here. I can't have the camera there while I'm doing it, so I'll just tell you what I do after I do it. Okay, I went ahead and installed the mounting bracket over here on this side where the original filters were. I just didn't like the way it was set up over there behind the fire extinguisher. It was binding too much on the feed hoses. 
Also, keep in mind, this installation that we're doing here is a little bit different than what you might do if you're just doing it straight out of the box. And the reason for that is because we're doing a retrofit. We already had a water filter in here to begin with. We're just replacing it. So first off, the existing water hoses. We're going to go ahead and reuse those and just plug them into this new filter. And second, the diverter. We already had a cold water diverter right here. This diverter is a little bit different from the one that came with the kit in that it allows unfiltered cold water to go to the faucet and it allows unfiltered cold water to go to the filter. And then what happens once you get over here, the water would come into the bracket, it goes through the filter and then through this hose, which connects right there, then it goes up to the faucet. This is because, like I said, we have a three-way faucet. It does hot water, cold water, and filtered water. With the diverter here that came with this kit, all of the cold water is filtered water. So you don't end up with any unfiltered cold water. Anyway, so I've got the bracket mounted. These hoses are super easy to connect. You just put it into the hole like this. You push and it's connected so when I pull on it it doesn't come out. Now to mount the filter you just push the filter up here like this give it a quarter turn and it's installed. So now I'll turn the water pump back on and let's check for leaks Okay, a little bit of water came out, but I think that's to be expected. The main thing is just to make sure it doesn't continue coming out, obviously. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's check the faucet. There's the hot. There's the cold. And there's the filter. Okay. And just like that, we have a new water filter. Keep in mind, this is not the anywhere filter. So you don't want to be filling your camper van's fresh water tank with pond water. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. That would sure help us out. And subscribe because we make lots of videos like this. Once you've subscribed, click the little bell icon down there and you'll be notified anytime we put up a new video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.